Hey you guys, it's Benny from BennyCakes.com. I was just popping in to do a book haul. Yeah, so let's get started. This is just a few books that I've gotten over the last like week, week and a half maybe. Early in the week I was sent a package of ARCs from Silver Oak Publishing. So a big thanks to them for sending me some ARCs. They are all adult titles, not YA. The first one is Blood Relative by David Thomas. This one says, how well do we really know our loved ones? In the wake of a brutal murder, architect Peter Crookham is forced to confront this question, launching him on a dangerous quest to uncover the truth. So that's a murder mystery. They sent The Black House by Peter May. I love this cover. Love it. It says, from the acclaimed author and dramatist Peter May comes the first book in the Lewis Trilogy. Mystery, set on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland's Outer Hebrides. When a grisly murder occurs on the Isle, Oddenburg detective and native islander Finn McLeod is dispatched to investigate. As he unravels the murder, Finn is forced to confront the tragic events of the past that shaped and nearly destroyed his life. So, it's another murder mystery, and this one takes place in Scotland. So, I'll be reading it with my Scottish... Yeah, that was so not Scottish. Anyway, I'll have a funny accent in my head, and it'll sound good. The next book they sent was The Low Road by Chris Wormersley. Sorry if I just butchered that name. This one says, unflinching, relentless, and powerfully written, The Low Road paints a searing portrait of two desperate men thrown together by chance as they both try to flee their troubled path. This savage noir surprises and grips at every turn. Award-winning and critically acclaimed, The Low Road seduces readers with its poetic language and the unique and indelible protagonists. Just, just. I love this cover, too. I don't know. I have a thing for black covers, apparently, because all of the covers that I really like are black. This one is called Top Loader by Ed Laughlin. It says, if Catch-22 and Dr. Strangelove had a love child in the war-ravaged Middle East, it would be Top Loader, a darkly comic novel about the modern imperialist experiment set in the occupied zone of an unnamed country and packed with unforgettable characters, including at least one very unfortunate donkey and a crucially important American-made washing machine. It's the perfect novel for our uncertain times. I, I like this cover, too, and what's, I was telling Mr. C about it in the car, and he even perked his eyebrow a little bit, took interest. That man, I'm not surprised, really, because he reads more than I do. I mean, seriously. Like, like a week ago, there was one day he locked himself in his office. And I mean, he was in there reading his book for a good 10 hours straight. Just a minute, babe. I'm just getting to the good part of my book. Such a good man. I lucked out with that one. The next books I got were actually, we were out uh, running errands, paying bills and things on Friday. And so when we were coming home, I'm always depressed when we go pay bills. Because, you know, I don't like to give away my money. And before we were even down to the end of the street, I saw a big box on my porch. So I squealed, I has package. And because it had been so quiet in the car up until then, I scared my husband. He almost put us into a mailbox. But it was okay. We made it to the driveway and I ran through the yard up to the front door and there was a box. And I ripped it open and there was beautiful packages in it. And I was going to wait and open it on camera, but... After I waited for about 30 seconds, I ripped into them suckers like a kid on Christmas. I could not wait. So, anyway, big thanks to Lindsay at Tennessee Jeep Gal here on YouTube. She's another booktuber. She sent me a rat package and made me cry because it was sweet. Anyway, here's what she sent. She sent Infinite Days, which... Casey Hilton uh, just goes on and on about how awesomely amazing this is. And I was like, what ifs, romance. And so I put it on my wish list. It's got vampires in it, so I want to read it. But then it's got romance in it, so I don't want to read it. And Casey was all, oh, you got to read it. You got to read it. And somehow, this is the book that Lindsay ended up putting in the box for me. So that was what? Fate? Karma? Kismet? I don't know, but I'm going to read it. And I know it's going to be good. Because surely, if Casey liked it 
and then Lindsay picked it to send to me. Has to be good, right? And then these two books have been on my wish list forever. She said Eon and Iona, which is fantasy, urban, what, whatever. It's supposed to be really good. Every, I've not seen a bad review for either one of these books. So I'm really excited to get started in this series. And then the last book, when I opened it, it really did. I, I teared up. I like had tears and was I was like, oh my God, because it's been on my wish list since it first came out in hardback. And that is, and don't laugh, don't, don't judge. It's the Reagan Diaries. <laughs> I actually, because the hardback was so expensive and I couldn't afford it, our library does this thing where if you pay for half, they'll pay for the other half and get the book in for the library. And because you helped buy it, you're supposed to be the first one that gets to check it out. So I did that with our library, only when they got it in, somebody didn't do paperwork right, so they sent it to one of the satellite libraries. They didn't have me on the list as supposed to be able to get it. Once they send a book out to a satellite library, they can't get back. So I'd actually have to go to the next town to be able to check it out. So I didn't get it, and then I still didn't get it. But Lindsay got it, and she threw it in my box. And it made me tear up because, oh my god, I've wanted this book for like two or three years. When did it come out? I'll tell you how long I've wanted this book. Since 2007. So that's a long time. So thank you, Lindsay. I, I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting to get a rack, much less a rack that had four books in it off my wish list. I, I'm so blessed for all the people that I've met through through the whole booktube community. I don't regret for a minute starting doing videos. I've made some of the best friends out of this community. So just a big thank you to Lindsay for my packages and you guys for being awesome. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Nice.